Hello guys, so I'm a little late to the party on this one, um, but uh, I just received from my uncle, who's an absolute legend, uh, a copy of the Get Off The Road Forge World diorama. And I'm super excited because I didn't manage to pick one up myself in a limited time window that these were available, and I didn't think I was going to get one, which was a bit of a shame, because you know me, I love my mortal stuff, and the uh, Nazgul sculpt in this is absolutely amazing, so... Massive thank you to him, obviously, and uh, we're just going to do a little cheeky unboxing uh, and see what we've got inside. All right, let's just pop this open. Ooh, a whole host of stuff in here. Uh, you got your uh, classic Forge World advertisement leaflet there, nice. A uh, little instruction manual showing you how to put it all together. Very cool. I think the rest is uh, tightly sealed inside this uh, resealable bag. Let's pop that open. All right, we've got the uh, half of the stump. I think the rest is all nicely packed in this uh, plastic container as well. Uh, oh, and a base, lovely, okay. Uh, cool, all right, I think, let's just take a closer look at all this then. All right, so I'll just move things over to my desk so we can have a look in some better light. Uh, these are all the base parts. You can see this bit fits snugly in there. And then we have, um, Nice little base topper to fit on top there, once the base is in. Um, let's just have a look at some of this detail, because this is lovely. Really nice. Crisp. But I mean, you know, you expect this from Forge World, don't you? Lovely texture work on here. The mushrooms. It's amazing. And then... This little uh, root piece just sort of slots in over there above the hobbits. Speaking of the hobbits, here we have Frodo, Pippin, Sam, and Merry carrying under the tree. Some lovely uh, <laughs> vegetable detail work here with that carrot and the uh, cabbage that Pippin's holding. Let's just turn this around. Yep. So yeah, I think the sculpts are a lot nicer than um, than the box art kind of uh, alludes to. Uh, I think some of the uh, contrast paintwork doesn't really do justice to the face sculpts as much, but here they look fine. I really like them. But yeah, lovely crisp detail. You can see Frodo uh, reaching for the ring, sort of straight out of the movie there. And finally, the the thing I'm most excited for, the Nazgul. Or Black Rider. You can see it comes in uh, several sections that you've got to put together. You have the uh, the body. There's some really lovely detail work on here too. I love the the hairy horse feet. Uh, the mane. Lovely, lovely hair sculpts there. Um, this might be a bit tricky. <laughs> Need to make sure I don't uh, break those little rain things. When I uh, cut out the uh, the inside resin stuff there, but yeah, some really lovely details. Some uh, black rider cloak and sword there. I really love the armor. See here the uh, is it stirrups? I'm not too <laughs> familiar on all the uh, terminology there. I think the one thing that maybe I'm not too sold on is that Nazgul hood. Sort of similar to the Plastic Witch King, it doesn't look quite as uh, ominous and, and fitted as the uh, the movies, so I might have to extend that a little. But um, other than that, the detail is... Well, yeah, like I said before, what you kind of expect from Forge World. Look at that horse. But yeah. Now I'm going to put all this together, and then we'll see what it looks like then. So here's the base, sort of put together. You can see the hobbits hiding under there. And here is the Black Rider all assembled. Lovely model. Like a really nice pose straight out of the movie. Really crisp details, just like I was mentioning before. Uh, I've opted to not use the uh, little base topper here, just because as you can see it's quite thick. So I think alongside uh, a lot of my other models in terms of wargaming it's going to look really inconsistent. So I've just gone with a plain base with a bit of a 
rock and bark on there, which I'll texture up later. Speaking of details though, something I, I noticed when looking at the hooves, you can see that they've even sculpted in the rusty nails which uh, and horseshoes there, which I think is a really nice extra touch. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not much more to say really. It's, you can see for yourself, it's very well sculpted. I love the bow, it's really ominous. But yeah, well, let's just stick him in. And that's the, uh, the full piece. I just got to paint up this bad boy. <laughs>